These Pro's waveforms are not only beautiful and extremely accurate, but they are also very customizable. And by the end of this video, you will know everything you need to know about the waveform settings so you can set the app up for your style of DJ. The app is gonna start you in classic mode, so that's where I'm gonna start with the waveforms. So now it may look like in classic mode there is no view of the waveforms, but there's kind of a semi-hidden feature. If you press this middle button here, then we get a view of our waveforms and you'll notice the jog wheels get smaller. They're still the second biggest jog wheels in the app, but they are smaller than if you don't have this open. So keep that in mind if you plan on scratching, it might be a little bit more difficult. So now we get two vertical waveform. They are very accurate. And with the 5.0 update, they really got the details down. You could tell what the sound is gonna be by the color and they are very accurate and very beautiful. And to change the settings in this part of the app, you're going to press these hidden buttons here right by the one and right by the two. We press that down and we get a drop down menu. This one is limited compared to the one in pro mode and other view modes. I'll get to that after. So here we have slice and skip. These are for kind of turntableism, scratching and stuff like that. What slice does separates it into different into the bars and then you could like press it so you could go back if it's good for a turntableism techniques and then slip what slip is going to do is when you hold the jog wheel maybe you're scratching or you're just stopping the track the track is still going to be playing and then when you let go it's going to resume where it would have been this way it doesn't mess up the time of the track if you want to scratch while you have two songs beat matched together. So that's a pretty cool feature. It's not really a setting, but it is a feature. And then down here is high contrast. So I have that on. Now look what happens when I turn it off. It, it becomes the same kind of color as the background. So it doesn't stand out as much. And I do a lot of DJing during the day. And with high contrast on, you can see the waveforms better if you're doing like a pool party outside and then the sun's out. So I recommend keeping it on high contrast. And then over here, you can actually zoom in and zoom out of the waveforms. I don't really use it that much, but some people like to get a very good look at the waveforms and you could actually zoom in and it works pretty well. Now let's go to pro mode. So to switch your modes, you're gonna press the middle button here and then down here, bottom left, we go to modes. Let's go to the next mode and that is going to be pro mode. So pro mode is the mode where you're gonna have the most control of the app and access to the most features and the biggest view of your waveforms. So up here are our, are our waveforms. So now with the same one and two drop down menu, we get a couple of more options. So the same thing, slice, skip, high contrast. The next one is jog wheel. What this does is it removes the jog wheel. So if you don't use the jog wheel and that's not your style of DJing, you could remove it and get a much longer view of your waveforms. A lot of people like this. I keep them on because I use them a lot. And then here, something really cool is we could have the, the waveforms from horizontal to vertical, depending on which app or that's your style of DJing, you be, may be more accustomed to vertical waveforms instead of horizontal. They're a little bit harder to see because it kind of gets scrunched up. So I would recommend leaving it on horizontal, but it is completely up to you. Now, another thing in this view mode is another kind of hidden feature. So if you see these down here, this is our mixer section. It's open library sampler and looper. But if you press it again and none of them are selected, whoa, we get a huge view of our waveforms and we still have a lot of other features like the mixer, crossfader, volume slider over here. They were able to fit so many things in. This is if you really like to see your waveforms big, this is gonna be the biggest view of your waveforms. And then if you did wanna do the vertical waveforms, this is probably the biggest waveforms that you're gonna see in vertical. So it's the same thing, you could just switch it like that. But now in this view, so let's go back over here, keep track of what's on here. Now with it clicked off, we get another hidden feature and then that is neural mix tracks. So you could separate it into, see now it's separated into the vocals and the instrumentals. You could do three vocals, harmonics, I think, instrumentals, and then you could press it to remove this part or keep it. 
And then you can also do all four of Neuromix. So if you like doing mashups and stuff with Neuromix, this is the screen that you're going to want to be in because you get the biggest view of your Neuromix settings. And then this pencil here is how you could adjust the beat rate. If it didn't analyze your track correctly, you could go here and customize your beat grid and have full control over your waveforms. And then up here, this is the same in every view mode. So you see in pro mode, we have our waveforms up here. And then in classic mode, we have our waveforms up here as well. This, these waveforms tell you the progress of your track. Th these waveforms show a couple of things. It's going to show your cue points. So now look what happens up here on these waveforms. When we put a cue point, the cue point is there on the waveforms. And then if we change the color of the cue points, then you can see the different colors. So it's really, it's really good to have a quick glance of what's going on on your track. And these waveforms you will see in every view mode. You can't scratch with them like you can with the waveform on with the waveforms over here, but you can scrub through the track, go to the first, go to the beginning, go to the end, and navigate the track that way. And if you guys want to learn more about setting cue points in this amazing app, check out this video over here. Thank you.